Right. <laughs> so I've been AFK for a very long time. Um, last last time it was on day what forty nine. Now I'm on day eighty three. Um, I left this thing going on overnight. So I just I just stayed in my little AFK little shack and uh, just left it on overnight. Now I didn't I didn't stay out in the open because in one sixteen I think this is uh, there's uh, phantoms that if you don't sleep for X amount of days phantoms will spawn at night and try to kill you. So to avoid that you just stay in here and then every now and then every couple of hours whenever it's nighttime you exit run and sleep in the bed and that'll like reset the uh, phantoms from coming out and getting you so since since I've been here um, I've gotten a quite quite a few more iron since the last time uh, and so I've made another 16k storage disk, which is actually not doing too good. Um, I also made one of these. It's a cable. It's actually like stupid expensive. No, it's just kidding. Anyway, the wireless transmitter. And I put four range upgrades in it to make the 48 blocks. And then I have a hotkey set to F. So wherever I'm at on the island, as long as I'm within the 48 block range, I can access or access um, my crafting grid. <clears throat> so here's my little witch water setup. Still, this thing is still going. I've actually got a pretty good amount of chicken now. I've got 93 chicken in there, which is actually really nice. Um, I did run into a little bit of power issue. So these are these are working right now, but earlier they were they were actually like doing worse. So I I had to put a, another magmatic dynamo on, and it's just getting tedious by now. Now <coughs> this layer, I've got the auto sieve set up here. The auto sieve setup is doing grand. I love it. And uh, this thing has been running on and off. Yeah. Yeah. So, anyway, I'd get the ore pieces from here. Like, let's say, nickel. And then I condense them down into the ore chunks. Put them through the pulverizer to get doubled. And then as soon as it doubles, it sends the dust into here. And then it smelts it. And then I put it in the system. So now I've got 227 nickel ingots, which is nice. But it's not fast enough from what I want. By now, I, by day 83 down here, I, I would actually want like 10 times the amount of stuff that I actually have. And I think the only thing that's stopping me is the power issue. So back here, you notice this is not moving anymore. Um, I actually have another thing going. So it used to be just these two. So I've got power coming from the magmatic dynamos. <clears throat> so that's actually trying to fill up now, which is crazy. Um, I've got more power than I'm using right now, which is not a bad problem to have. But anyway, the power is coming from the f what five magmatic dynamos feeding into this energy cell and then the energy cell is feeding into these two three energy transfer nodes <coughs> and this dimensional cell which powers my crafting grid so I can put the crafting grid here and then power it and then I can put this back on my head <coughs> like so and now I can still access my thing so uh, what I want to do is I want to vastly expand the power generation setup and to do that I need something called blazing blood and to get blazing blood 
I need to put a blaze in the smeltery, or I can put the head in the smeltery and melt that down to blazing blood. And I need 10 of them for a bucket. So, <clears throat> to get a blazing head, to get a blaze head, I actually need a cleaver. So I'm going to try to make the best cleaver I can, giving off, uh, given off of what knowledge I have. So for the actual, let me set this somewhere about there. So for the making of the anvil, or making of the cleaver, you need an anvil. And so let's make an anvil really fast out of iron, preferably. Tinker's anvil. Got slime steel. What can I do? Probably Electrum. Okay, how do I make Electrum again? That way. What am I missing? Fire charges. Silver dust. So I come here, make some silver. And then I have a pulverizer down here, this one. So pulverizer, come up a level, come over here, and then I can just pulverize this. <coughs> <coughs> ah. Let me make silver dust that way. Uh, actually, I should have enough. to make the actual anvil. So anvil, and I want to make that one. So now I need scorched stone, which should be just scorched, uh, boom, scorched bricks, which is from Chisel bricks. This is, I gotta find the right one. Boom. Okay. Which is from casting scorched stone. Did you get scorched stone from melting. I think it's just cobblestone, really. I I can do magma cream. I think it would magma cream over top of basalt or gravel, which I have plenty of gravel. And then I make scorched stone. <clears throat> so I need to make a casting basin for the melter. Which means the tinker's set up, which means I need some grout. Grout. So just gravel, sand, and clay. Which is not hard to do now, anyway. Uh, get some barrels. I want to keep the barrels away from that. Okay. So now all I gotta do is fill that up with clay, which means oh yeah. So I forgot to I forgot to show you. Um, so that's done now. Um, if I go down one more layer, that's not set up yet. Uh, I got tired of it all doing it in one setup, so I made this too. Um, so anyway, I put a. I think this is the same one. If it's not, then it's a different one. Anyway. But uh, I've got wireless power going to this, and it's feeding into all of this. So the energy cables are the orange ones, and the uh, item pipes are these. So energy is feeding into uh, this pulverizer, which is getting cobblestone from the cobblestone gen 2. And it's hammering it into uh, what all it makes. And that's the, um, the flint, the sand, and the gravel. And it, since it produces more gravel, I put a storage upgrade in it. 
because it was filling up 2048 it's not really that much when you leave it going overnight so uh that's cool that's just making the gra the, the gravel and the sand and the flint and the flint i don't really need but you know and then i made a whole other system just for making the sand and the dust and it's actually doing really good on the sand because that's the only thing it really wants to make so anyway gen 2 going into this it's pulverizing the cobblestone into gravel sending the gravel down and uh Whenever it uh, is done with the gravel, then it shoves it in here. Now, the side product from this is sand, and it sends that into that, too. And as soon as this gets done, it's going to get a byproduct of dust. So then that dust is here. So there, that's the reason why there's 6,758 of these, and there's only 191 of those. It's because this is actually, like, directly, you know, pulverizing the gravel into sand. And then... It's uh, sending this up via the item pipe, and if dust was to actually like, pop in here, which I don't think it can, it can just go straight back here because it's being exported. So, um, so sand, gravel, dust. Actually, I'm gonna grab a couple more. Let's see, for the grout, it is one, two, three, four, four stacks of each. So I need to go get some more. One, two, three, four. There's the dust. One, two, three, four. Okay, so now all I need is a stack of clay, which is a lot easier said than done because this can be a little finicky. So I want to try to fix that. You know, I'm actually going to move all these. Over here. Nine to work for now. Okay, then I can throw that and that back. Then we'll just start doing this. See how finicky this thing is? I actually need a different way to like pipe these out and that would be super. So if there's any way to like transfer it, like a transfer node or something like that, basic fluid pipe, that would be nice. But I need to have it going into a tank. So if I just search the water, is there anything that can pull water? There's a fluid cable, fluid pipe looks better. So I don't think the fluid pipe on its own can do that. Fluid pipe, let's make one of these. I actually don't have bricks. Okay, since we have the stone cutter, buzz, 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 buzz. Now I can make a fluid pipe. Boom. So now, if I can take fluid out of there with a wrench, this wrench. That would be super. Okay, don't shift right click.
Okay. So now all the need is just to get low. Boom. So now hopefully that can pipe the water over here. Let's see. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm going to take this. Oh, that makes it so much better. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so much. Oh, I love it. Okay. Um, I actually only really need one of these at the moment. And then I'm actually going to have these set up to do that as well. And I'm just going to leave the three of them. I'm going to see if I have any more sand because I'm going to make some soul sand while I have that. Uh, down. Sand. So while this is set up. Boom. I can set that up for soul sand. Which is awesome. Okay, uh, I can set that up later. So now I think it goes like that. Then clay, grass. I'm gonna make all the grout that I can. Should be eight stacks. It is. Now, coal. And smelt some in there. Boom. Okay. Now, the rest of the grouts can go in the redstone furnace this guy so that should be done boom so now the only thing I need to do is make a chest with an item pipe or you know what you know what the hopper hopper would be better because these wooden hoppers are just completely stupid overpowered. So now can I do that? No, cannot. Okay. Uh, I can have it go out or go in this side too. I just want to smell things. Uh, so I guess I gotta move this. Yeah, this is the system for the um, for the wireless stuff that I'd had, which yeah, was super simple. Boom, this in. Got you there. Boom. So now that is working fine. Nice. So now the seared bricks, I can kind of just skip the whole process and make seared bricks. Now I wonder if that'll work for these. I hope so. So now for the anvil, go like that. Work. Boom. Awesome. So advanced tool making. So now that I got the tinker's anvil, I need to make a cleaver, which means I need a broad blade, tough handle, tough handle, and large plates. Uh, I need to make a smeltery very first thing, though. Because the smeltery, uh, it does ore double. 
but to uh, actually make these things, I don't think you can do it in this part builder. But while I'm here, I need a large plate. I'm actually going to put this as stone. So I need a large plate. Need two tough handles, but I'm going to make a pattern out of that, so it's not going to be too, too bad. And a broad blade. Boom. Okay. Now I'm going to save these for when I'm able to make a smeltery. Okay. While I'm here, let's make some smeltery stuff. Smeltery. Let's make a controller first. Smeltery controller is not the original way. <coughs> so the seared heater gets smelted into that with copper. So I need a heater then. Seared melter. First smelter place above a tank for heater to fuel. Okay. Which means I need that and that. So what if I made this? I also need a seared ingot gauge. I've never made one of those. So I have the melter. I need the heater. So now the heater and the melter. Let's put the heater here and then the melter on top. Melter has three slots for nine ingots worth. And the heater does it just work with coal? Boom. I would hope so. So now I need I need to pour that into a casting basin. Which I need some more of these for that. So I need a casting basin. Boom. I also need a faucet to pour it from. Seared faucet. It actually gives you two per craft, which is nice. We don't need a channel because we're not running them too, too far anyway. And then I need a drain. So a seared drain. I hope I've got copper, I do. Okay. No, that's just too too much. Okay. So now can I put the drain right there with the faucet and the basin? Can I do it like that? Uh it looks like Looks like these are all slots it could, which I'm oh, we'll try it out then. So that's the fuel. So now I need some copper. I need four pieces of copper. Four pieces of copper. And to make the smeltery controller, I need to pour that four ingots onto a seared heater. So I need to make another seared heater. Seared heater. So now, place that in there. Copper. So the copper is melting now. It's actually melting pretty quick, as copper should. So there's three. Four. Now can I just pour? No. I probably gotta put it a different way. Which is what I did not expect. So what if I did that? No. Okay, interesting. Okay, um... What if I did that? 
Uh, that's facing towards me. Now pour. Can't pour. Why? Seared heater in a basin. Seared heater. Can I pour anyway? No. So seared heater is going back in. Does this have to be on top? Then the faucet on the side. Boom, faucet. No. Okay. So this is why God made Google. I'll be right back. Okay, I didn't do... <laughs> I just seen a picture. So I don't know if it truly works or not, but... From what I understand... I don't understand much. <laughs> All right, so you you don't need the drain in the first place, which is good to know. Good to know now. Now that I don't need it. <laughs> so now I have the smeltery controller, which I definitely, definitely, definitely need that. Now I need the drain. And then I need a casting table. All right. <clears throat> now, what else do I need to put on there? So I have I need the seared tank. I need a seared tank. Seared tank. Got it. Is there anything else I need besides a bunch of seared bricks? I have the basin, I have some faucets, I have the heater, which it's not going to be the heater, it's going to be in the tank. It's something else to take out my lava. <laughs> Let's see, let me get some stone bricks. Having this is so much easier. Let's get a wand with some diamonds to fix it up. Okay. Let's make a smeltery. F7? No? Okay. So, all these are going into those. Let's go up one to get these. Yep. Boom. Okay, so that should be plenty for right now. I'm going to make a simple 3 by 3 to start with. So for a simple 3x3, three three, you need 3 in the middle. Leave these 3 open. Uh, actually, I kind of screwed myself. So you want to bring this out a couple. I'm just going to go 3. Make sure everything's lit up. It's not going to stay lit up, but you know, it's okay. Seared tank, front smeltery controller in the middle. And now it's telling me to put one there. So, boom. Now we have a fully functioning smeltery. However, I need to put the drain somewhere. So, I need the seared drain again. So your drain there, 
Now that's multi-blocked up, which works just fine. Let me get the other faucet. Really? I thought I had two fa- oh yeah, there's one on the uh, melter. So now you can have two drains going out of the same, or two faucets going out of the same drain. And on one of them I'm going to have the casting table, the other one I'm going to have the basin. Which I have up here. These I'm no longer going to need. So I can throw them in. Some seared basin in there. Now I'm going to build up the walls on these just a little bit. And this, this on its own is plenty for right now. I'm actually sure I'm going to go up another while I have the bricks on me. Hey, I guess I'll go up all the way that it'll let me. You do want to make sure this thing is enclosed. Because anything that gets in it will be smelted down. So now this has a ton of space in it. So now, I read something about needing a door. So basically, you'd put a door right in front of this guy. And supposedly that's supposed to keep the heat in. I don't know if that's true or not, but I'm you know. Might as well not chance it. Now, I need some gold. Gold I have, and I need some buckets of lava. I think the thing holds four. I think it used to. So let's go up here. You don't have any lava, you do. There's four. One, two, three, four. It does, okay. Now, temperature inside is a thousand Celsius, which is definitely preferable. And you have four lava buckets in there. Now, I need the uh, patterns that I had, or the uh, large stone plate. They were all made out of stone. So now, in order to make anything in Tinkers, you need um, uh, let me get an ingot too. You need a cast, and to get the casts, you just put gold in here. Oh, gold shows there. That's actually pretty nice. I like that. And uh, whatever one that you want to make a cast out of, make it out of stone. Plop it in there and let the gold go. The gold will burn up the stone and then it will make a cast. So now I have a large plate gold cast. Now let's get a chest. Because these are going to run away from me eventually. So there's that. Now we're going to make a stone broad. We're going to make a broad blade pattern. So that's going to burn that in the middle and it's going to give us a broad blade gold cast. And since it's made out of gold, it won't burn up, hopefully. And now we're going to make an ingot cast, because you need that to pour the rest of the ingots out. Now I've got one block and three ingots in excess. So I'll pour the block, and we'll pour the three ingots. Now I don't see any more gold in there, so now the smeltery is empty, and now we have all of these. Now I'm not really sure how to um, make the best cleaver, 
So I'm going to do a little bit of Googling and uh, try to find out what that would be. So I'll be back. Oh boy. Okay, so did the Googling. Then I need manualin. So let me get a couple signs. Oak sign, give me just a couple. So what I need so I don't forget about it is I need a I need a manual and manual and I need manual and blade. I need a many uh, big plate. I need a paper rod, then I need a cobalt rod. That's to make the thing, and then if it allows me to do modifiers, I need mini moss, I need one diamond, I need ten blocks of quartz. And I think that's it. Yep. Done. So, quartz is actually going to be a little bit of an issue because I don't have the soul sand set up. Um, I'm going to need to get that set up. Anyway, let's get manualin. So, manualin is from cobalt alloy and debris. Oh my goodness. You're kidding. <laughs> so I need netherite scraps, which is a 0.8% chance with crushed netherrack. Uh, that's a problem. So. Huh. Let's see, I need manualin. Blast chiller, and then there's the induction smelter, which I'll probably end up doing. So I need the cobalt, and then the other right scraps. Mm. Another right scraps. Sucks. Laser drill. Ah, uh, that, that does its own thing. So I guess it's seeping crushed netherrack, which is redstone and a lava barrel. Uh, let's see, how many manual things do I need? I think I need eight, 12, 16. I think I need 16. I think I need 16. No, I don't. I need, I think, 12. And the paper rod and the cobalt rod should be easy. Cobalt should be easy. It's from cobalt chunks. I think, do I have any in here? I don't. How do I get cobalt? <laughs> from the, okay. So I guess I do need to do another rack. All right, so I need a lot of redstone. Actually, I set this thing going with dust. It should be done. Yeah, so I have a little bit of redstone now. So 
So let's start with, I guess, a stack of netherite. We'll see how that goes. Or not netherite, a stack of netherrack. We'll see how that goes. Uh, I need this. Hmm. Okay, and I'm actually going to come over here to the jumbo tank. That was almost bad. Actually, that'll work too. Okay, now that's starting to run out. So what I'm gonna do is wait on this one more time. And then just put it right here. Boom. And now I can get a fluid pipe. Boom. Easy peasy. Actually, it's not. Uh, what if I did this? So I need to get rid of that, set that to output into this so I can get rid of this and output so now that should be instant yep it's instant ish It's quite a bit faster. Okay, stack of netherrack. I need to crush it all. Let me get my wand. I hope I can just hammer it. Yeah, I can. Smeltery is done. I can put all these up, that up, that up. It's just constant inventory management. That's what this is. That's what this game is. So, I got the crush nether act now. Let's go beneath and put this in. Hopefully, I get some nether right. It's a 0.8% chance, so. Realistically, probably not. Not from a stack. Anyway, I'm probably going to need like nine, ten stacks to even get one or something like that. Ridiculous. <laughs> or not. It's actually giving me a lot of gold, which is really nice. I've got way too many of these items, so I can just... throw them away let's see I got one netherite scrap from a stack of netherite okay 
So let's see. I need to make many in. Boom. And then I need to do this, which is molten debris, one ingot. So this actually directly makes one ingot. Okay. So I need about I need about twelve of them. This needs which means I need a lot of redstone. Which means I need a lot of dust. Dust. Boom. So now let's get some redstone. Boom, boom. I'm actually going to take another stack. And uh, I'm going to go make some more netherrack, I guess. So while that's making its magic, I'll grab. I'll leave that in there because it's not going anywhere. And then we'll come back over here. Why is there 63 redstone? I want 64. No. And then I'll take all this wand. Crush. And then let's go see. You know, this thing's actually pretty darn fast. So I got 35 redstone ish out of that. That's not done yet. Not too shabby. I like the 1.4k iron. That is awesome. I love that. Okay, has it started yet? No. Now it has. I don't know why it left eight dust in there. Anyway. So I got one piece. I can make one piece of manulin. It's crazy how expensive that is. But I guess manulin's the top dog top dog ore in this thing or yeah so I do want some manual which I need one ingot of the debris and three ingots of cobalt which I need some cobalt now this isn't giving me any cobalt no it's actually not giving me any kind of cobalt which is Weird. Weird that it gave me netherite and not cobalt. No. So let's get some cobalt. So can I melt it? I cannot alloy. No, cannot alloy it. So I need the cobalt chunks, which is from cobalt pieces, which is from the crushed netherrack. It's a 1% chance. Which means I got super not, um, well, I mean it's the same kind as netherite. So I guess it's not that bad. I 
got two, but I can't make those anyway, so I need a different kind of metal ingot. Um, uh, let's look at let's look at the cleaver. <laughs> of course. Uh, all right. I'm gonna have to hold off on the cleaver. Uh, boom, 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 boom. All right. I'm gonna have to hold off on. Actually, no. I can get this set up. I can do this. So I need to automate making. nether rack so I need to automate making nether rack which is redstone so I need a redstone seed which means I need my altars and infusion petals alright so I guess now is a good time to get into all this stuff Oh, that was a bad idea. Okay. start a farm in the middle here so let's get a bucket I just put it back give me the bucket give me some cobble so let's come over here a bucket in down gotcha Get a hole. Actually, need a better one. Okay. So to get anything done in a timely manner, I'm actually going to need to spend a lot of time uh, making these. So the infusion altar, I'm going to make first means I need a lot of string. I have a lot of string. Which means I need a lot of wool. So I got 35 pieces of wool. Make them all in the carpets. Then I need to color them red. So I got 40 that are red. This is going to be nice. Infusion altar. Boom. Now for these, I think I need eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I need eight. Eight of these. Boom. Okay, that was actually pretty easy. So, I need to figure out how to set this up. Let's see. I'm actually wanting to go up to this level. So, one there. Okay, that's actually really nice. <laughs> uh, let's upgrade pickaxes, shall we? So it does show you where they all go. Boom. Okay. So now I need to try to make a redstone seed. I can get rid of those. They're not going to need anything anymore. Prosperity shard. Prosperity seed. Do I have one? Mm. I don't have. 
the one that I'm looking for. So I have the Prosperity Shard Seed. Now I need the Tertium. I need four of these, which means I need 16 of them, which means I need a whole stack of Inferium. Yeah, um, which I have, which I can probably make the redstone seed then. So Tertium, I need one of these though. Infusion crystals, I need one of these. I need Infernium. Boom. 28. Doo -doo. So now there's seven of them. I only need four. And then I need four bits of redstone. I need this. So now since it's a tier three, I can do that. I don't know why I just tried to do that. Okay. Redstone in the middle. Or uh, seed in the middle. And each cardinal direction is a tertium. And then redstone, 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 redstone. Now what? <laughs> Mystical. I probably need some kind of weird wand. Mystical agriculture, first edition. Let me make one of them, please. Need a book, need paper. Boom, boom, book. Okay. Don't care. Advances. No. Basics. Uh, resource crops? No. The fusion altar, yes. Uh, fusion altar is a crafting structure that is usually <coughs> used to great. Ah! Once you put a recipe in, you just need to activate an altar with a redstone signal. So, lever. <laughs> Alright. So now I know how to do that. Boom. Redstone seed. Alright. So can this go to 10, 10, 10? Uh, 10. Uh, redstone seed. Do we have crop sticks? If we have crop sticks, then we can go to 10, 10, 10, which no, it does not look like we do, which is fantastic. Okay, redstone seed planted. Now I need a watering can. Because these watering cans are going to be the best. Actually, I could do that. Reinforced watering can is probably going to be the best out of all of these. If not, I'm going to lose another right scrap, which is not the worst. Watering can. That does it 11 by 11. Don't care. Let's try the reinforced watering can then. Because I know the reinforced watering can used to be the best. So let's try out the regular watering can. Uh, probably need to fill it up. Super slow. Right. Yeah, super, 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 super slow. Okay. So, watering can. Let's make this one. Reinforced watering can. Yeah, way better. Okay. I actually need to create way more.
Is it just me or is that really slow too? No, it's just it's just because it's just one crop. So I need to make a bunch more redstone. Which means I need a lot more Inferium. So let's look up Inferium seed. Tier of one. I can use this to Really? There's no tier 2 or tier 5 Inferium seed? That is annoying. So now I'm out of Inferium. Which is not the end of the world. That I know of. Inferium seed. Make a bunch of these. Six of them right now is okay. It's actually not a good way to orient them. And let's continue to do this. So now hopefully these give me more than just one apiece. Inferium output 100%, which is nice. Do I have an imaginary time block? Uh, time. Redstone clock. That's nice. Uh, no, I don't. If I had an imaginary time block, that would be stupid handy. Really? <laughs> Farmland? What's so... Handy about farmland. Give me one piece. Oh no. So, farmland. Let's get some inferior farmland going. Uh, so, I need a hoe, a piece of dirt, and some inferior. Inferior. So, I got two. Inferium farm land boom. Let's make some. Actually, need a hoe. Excuse me. Let's make an inferium hoe. Actually, need a gemstone. Prosperity gemstone. Actually, can I just make a? No, it's probably gonna be one of these. Boom, boom. Gotcha. Out of inferium now. Diamond hoe, super simple. Oh, I need another inferior gemstone, so I need to. I need to continue doing this, or I can make a mob farm. I could do that. I can make a mob farm. Oh boy, let's make let's make a piece of chicken bait. So chicken baits, give me one of those. Need a piece of chicken baits to put over here. Boom. Oh yeah, right. I need some. Too many animals. You're talking about the 30 or so in there? <laughs> so really, all I should be able to do is bait. Gotcha. So I need to walk away and then wait for the chicken to spawn in. And I need, I need one of these. Creates a rotten egg, I need that one. So I need a fluid experience. So I need an X, 
Need an experience drain. XP drain, need one of them. Hopper, super simple. Two lines of ender, super simple. Boom. I actually have this singularity tank in there already. Then I need a tap. XP tap, I need one of these. So now I have 10 levels on me. Hopefully that's enough for these. So give me some buckets. I need four buckets of experience. I got three. Alright. Did the chicken pop out? There's the chicken. So don't die in the fire. And it'll be alright. Let's see, I just need to smell a bunch of cobblestone, huh? So if I come over here, I actually got a bunch. So I can put this last level in there. Nope, okay, that's what I thought. Anyway, boom, boom. Just so while that's doing that. XP tap. I don't really need it right yet. So I need this. So the only thing I need is that last bucket. And then I can start making an actual mob farm. So which means I need some fans. I only need one mob fan. That mob. So mob grinding, I'm gonna need an ender inhibitor. It's absolutely necessary. So let's get the width upgrade, the distance upgrade. Let's get a malt masher, some spikes, which I'm pretty sure I have. Yeah, but I'm gonna need some better ones. Actually, no, because that's the mob masher's job. I need some conveyors. Entity conveyors would be just fine. Let me get some dark glass. Actually, no. So just regular glass will work. Yeah, regular glass will work. And yeah, so let's get all that working while this is smelting. 420 millibuckets worth. So let's pick some out. So half a level, 420, 500. Okay, so it's gonna be a little while for that. Let's get one distance upgrade. Let's get two of these. So now if I put this down, show area. Okay, so that's how far they push normally. One of them in there. It needs to cover a five by five area. So one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Super simple. Okay, so it doesn't need the distance upgraded, it just needs the two width upgrades. So let's get a lever to power that, and then the two power the mob masher. Which you make like so. Block of redstone. Let's get two iron swords. Uh, let's get two iron spikes, actually. Let's get these. So that's three, four, five. Boom. This. Boom. Don't have a block, apparently. Spikes. Boom. One. There's two spikes, masher, got the mob masher. So now for the mob masher, <clears throat> I 
I want some stuff. So let me get beheading. I want beheading 10 on there to get the uh, heads. Then let me get looting sharpness. Okay, now let's get sharpness first. I need 10 of these. So I need 40 iron swords. There's 40. I don't know why I needed that many. I'm just going to go ahead and get a stack of gold nuggets. Give me 10. Got 10. Right. How's redstone looking? Looking good. So I got 10 sharpness. Let's get looting. I need a bunch of these. Looting. I need 10. There's six. Boom. Ten. Yeah, I can I can hold off on the beheading for now. No, I can't. Let me get oh wow. Okay, so I need ten of these, so I need twenty <laughs> helmets. Okay, same thing with iron. I have 20 helmets. Ten. Boom. So now I have all of that. Now I need an absorption hopper. I actually need an absorption hopper rather than the other one because this one you can you can do a lot better with hopper chest boom hopper got gotcha, you boom done and now I need a bucket to do let's just make another barrel dedicated to that boom slab okay then a piece of water let's put on top and then let's grab some lava lava got got another egg so boom, boom, I needed an absorption hopper. It's a good old absorption hopper. Now I need a diamond chest. So I need one of those, I need one of these, one of these, boom, iron, gold, diamond. It's a diamond chest that's going to get everything that I needed on there. Uh, need the GM chicken feed. Almost two levels worth. Probably not going to do it. Almost 800 millibuckets. I know how I could get a bunch of experience just killing all them chickens, but that's not going to do me any good. Because I need all them chickens, though. Ugh. Actually, can I just... Hello, chickens!
Okay. Over here, bucket. One more level. 940, I need 60 more. Oh man. I don't know why I thought that gave me anything, but you know, I am hopeful. Okay. So the GM chicken feed, I need that last bit. For the mob farm, I'm gonna need a bunch of drawers. Yep, so I need, I need quite a few. Fourteen to work, just fine. I need a drawer controller while I'm here. Six drawer controller. I need to make these. Boom, drawer controller. Now I need a bunch of item pipes. Get some these are fluid pipes. Make sure I got my wrench. And then... I think that's it. And then a bunch of blocks to make it out of. So... Ready for some buzz, buzz, buzz. 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 Okay, for sure I'll have enough this time. Boom. Nice experience bucket in. GM chicken feed. Gotcha. Chicken. Blow up. Thank you, sir. Thank you for the rotten egg. Need to be very, very careful with that. So I need dreadful dirt. So now let's make a mob farm again. Boom, boom. So, mob farm. I need to place it somewhere that's going to stay a while. Probably over here because it's barren. So let's make it. Let's actually spend some time and make some actually decent platform. Okay. Boom, all equals up. I can put them two away, grab my wand. Is it on me? Nope. Hmm, wonder where the, my wand went to. Oh my gosh, it's right there. Okay, I just made another diamond wand. 
That sucks. Oh well. What these to be stone bricks? And now I need just a little bit of dirt. Boom, got dirt. So now I need to figure out a good spot for this. Probably right here. So now since this thing is a five by five, that's what's basically gonna be the whole mob farm. Okay, rotting head, rotten eggs, I'm going to go in the middle. Not yet, until everything's built. Because that would be a very bad idea. Okay, so I need to think about this for a minute. So, masher. Hmm. Mm -hmm. It's actually it's actually put some thought in behind this. Cause this is gonna be like the best mod farmer I've ever made. Not like that. Boom. Show area. Okay. So that's where they're gonna push all the mobs to. But you reckon I do one more upgrade? I do the distance upgrade. I'm actually modeling this off of a YouTuber. I think it's System Collapse. I thought I might do it because it's <laughs> it's actually a really good design. I need four of the conveyor belts. So four of these gives you six per, which is awesome. Okay, those push you in, but you can crouch and move freely. Boom. Now let's put a lever on the bottom of that guy. Okay, now you move. Let's put beheading, looting, and sharpness. So now that thing does a crazy amount of damage. I'm gonna go ahead and start that. Yeah. <laughs> so that's how much damage it does. So we're gonna stay away from that thing now. All right. <laughs> oh boy. And it gave me my head, which is nice. So just to remember how deadly this thing is, I'm gonna put that there. I'm gonna put the other me on top. <laughs> that looks stupid. Anyway, this guy needs to go get charged. Boom. Slap you in there. Thank you. Okay. Mob masher that is stupid overpowered now. We're going to have a vacuum hopper on the outside, I reckon. Boom. This guy. Show area. Uh, let's go... Boom. No. Yes. Down, down. Let's go over one more. Like that. 
Actually, I'm going to try to make this three high for Enderman. Two, three. And then top it off with a roof. Okay, torch on top, nothing spawns up here. Now, Enderman inhibitor, I'm gonna put everywhere. <laughs> I'm gonna put one there. And I'm gonna probably put another one. Boom. You, there, boom, gotcha. So now the Enderman inhibitor I'm gonna have. Whoa, that went good. So now that's gonna be pushing all the way to there, which is what I wanted. <laughs> crazy, crazy good mom basher. Uh, this thing, so down is items. What way is this way? I actually don't know where east and west is. All right, facing east. So east, it's gonna be fluid. I'm gonna get a tank. Get a singularity tank. Singularity tank is going to have XP. Slowly gaining in that. Actually, I can have it going up. It ain't going to be no big deal. Up is fluids. Boom. So now I have XP gaining in that. Hopefully. I'm going to take the beheading out of this. Because. I don't think blaze is spawn in that. Now, let's get some glass. Is there ethereal glass? Or is there like glass that I can walk through? Immune to light. Explosions and weather blasts, that's nice. So just black stained glass and obsidian. Uh, dark glass, black dye, dark glass. I kind of want some glass that I can walk through, but mobs can't. But I guess it's not. Nothing to worry about then. So I guess let's close it up. I kind of want a door. So let me get a door here. And then open it, walk through, place a torch. If I ever wanted to disable it. Okay. So glass, 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 glass. Hmm. I'm actually going to take this. So now east I'll have items. So I have another piece of glass there. Boom. We'll have it like that. Because I'm not sure how that works. If it'll work. Hmm. So now, while this is set up, I want to go in here, put another Enderman inhibitor. I guess right there. I didn't know I could do that, but nice. 
And now the moment of truth. So, actually, no, it's not the moment of truth. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set up my drawers. So all of the drawers, I want to go beneath. So right here would be a good spot for an elevator. So I can get rid of that, 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 that's that, 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 that. So for these two, I need wool. Which means I need string. Darn pesky things. I think I got plenty of uh saplings. I should have plenty of string after this. Can I make like a crazy overpower crook? I don't think so, but I'm going to try. Eh, I could just do a stone. It's alright. The thing's taken off pretty good. I'll come back to that in a minute. What I want to do is, in the meantime, get a bucket of water. I need to start keeping that bucket on me. Buckets. Some stone bricks. Water. Let's go one, two, three, four, minimum, six, seven, eight, nine, go ten. Actually, we'll just go down that. We'll just go down that, that far. Okay, all that's done. Crook. I think that might be enough string. <laughs> I could be wrong. I don't think anybody in their right mind needs 533 silkworms, but you know, better than have and not need than need not have, right? Speaking of which, let me go put the fan on the back side of this. Boom. Actually, need to fine tune this. Let's 
let's get 1.6k string because why not? Um, elevator. A2, maybe three. Put one there. Put one on this level. And then put one on this level. Come on. Set up right, yeah. So as this a little more hidden, yep. Okay, so now I can hide this. Be right back. Okay. <laughs> sorry, sorry about that. Anyway. <coughs> So for the mob farm, the first level right here should be plenty. Boom. Here now let's get our drawer set up. So the drawer controller will be on top. Items are going to be coming out right here and then going down here for the storage. Actually, I could just set up an inner chest. I could just do an inner chest. Uh, it'd probably be a lot easier. But, you know, eh, whatever. So, drawers need to. I could just run an ugly item pipe all the way over here, so it'd be okay. be an all right uh, temporary thing. Drawer controller. Boom. Uh, 
I'll do, we'll do like that. And then we'll have an item pipe feeding into it. That's a fluid pipe, whoops. Uh, item pipe feeding into it from the chest. I actually need to lock them, lock those. So if you lock the, um, if you make something called a drawer key, like so, you can lock the drawer controller and you can find out if all the drawers are connected. And since they all have this little lock on them now, they're all connected. See? So instead of going by and locking one of them at a time, you can just lock and unlock them all with the controller. Now, they don't connect. on the diagonals so if like if you put one here that's not counted I guess you could say so if you lock them all that one's still not locked so to fix that you can get some color oak trim put it on the corner and now that locks too so now the oak trim is a useless block which it's going to be in the corner you're not going to see it anyway and it's basically just there to connect the rest of the drawers that you didn't have on the system to the system. So now that and uh, that is connected. I think I ran out of space. No, okay, so we're all good. I don't know what the max amount for the drawer controller is, but. I'm just gonna keep going until it maxes out. So let's make. I think I think that'll be enough for right now, actually. So let's continue with the item pipe. Boom. I hope I hope this item pipe is fast enough. So at the very beginning, since it's not. Uh, since all these are locked, it can't actually put anything in it until I tell it to. Which is nice if you're controlling like that. Now I'm going to come over here and set this pipe up to extract like that. And since all those are locked, this can't extract anyway if it wanted to. So. Normally that would automatically extract, but it's not going to because all the drawers are locked. Now if you put a random drawer on there that's not locked, anything and everything, like this item pipe and all that, is going to shoot all the way down in there. And it's going to be very messy on your system. So, without further ado... Let's try to power the mob farm on. So I have two ender inhibitors over here to try to discourage the Enderman from uh, from doing anything. Uh, F7. Let's see what we're looking like. Okay, so everything is able to be spawned on now. But it's not completely dark, which I guess is okay. We'll find out in a minute. But as soon as I turn this, as soon as I right click this on that dirt, it's all going to go down. <laughs> And so I need to make sure that that fan is on like that. Let's make sure that if it is pushing us, yeah. Let me make sure I can actually reach in there to disable it if I wanted to. Yeah. So I'm actually going to set that up wirelessly. Uh, redstone lamp. Some glowstone. So now, if I wanted to disable the mob farm, I need to move that pipe. So right here's the dead center. Actually, I need to keep that there for the uh, for the thing until now. 
So here's what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to try to go ahead and place this egg, then break the center block, and put a redstone lamp there. Then put a lever in the center of it, and that would be my disabling this thing. So let's try it out. So get close enough right there. Boom. Break the center block. Okay. Okay, hold on. I need to break the center block. I can't. I can't. I can't. No, 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 no. Okay. <sighs> Just put a torch in there. Would you quit? Okay, I actually need to dig over here and put another torch down. Okay, <laughs> so that's how chaotic it can get. So, they're actually still spawning. Stop. Oh my, come on. Okay. Okay, so everything is everywhere. I'm going, that should be disabled now. Let me get rid of the waypoint, because that's annoying. There's slimes coming in. Slimes stay out. Uh, 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 door, 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 boom, got the door. Uh, stone bricks, boom, 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 boom. So now that creeper was, Pretty rough. I'm I'm surprised they didn't take all that out, which is a fantastic. Okay, those go in there. That does. I got another <coughs> of those. I'm just gonna put everything in here. Oh boy. <laughs> Now, uh, I need to go under here. So now you know why I want a way to stop this madness. Dreadful dirt, come with me. Redstone. Now it's on. Now it shouldn't, shouldn't be doing anything now. So now I can plug this hole. Like so. Torch, let me get some more torches. Okay, I should be able to take that. Oh, should be able to take that out and be fine still. Let me get my item pipes connected. I need to reset that to extract. Boom, like so. And come down here. That's on. Okay. Ah. So put that back, put that back. I want my magnet back. Okay, my farm is off and it's not burning, which means it's safe from the sun, which it's actually night right now. So, let's we'll see if that thing catches fire or not. If it catches fire, I need to move it, or I need to make sure it's not burning, obviously. Okay, let's see. I need to make a drawer for ender pearls, those slime balls, other slime balls, inferium, jelly, and life essence. Because that's the first things that I got. So we'll do that there. We'll do both the slime here. Ender pearl is going to be a big one. 
Inferium Jelly Life Essence. So now if that chest sees one of these in there, it'll go ahead and auto extract it out. Now I want to see if this thing can keep up. So let's go ahead and enable it. I actually need to start moving the fan. Okay, we need some other jelly. Boom. I'm actually going to try to take the glass out and put stone bricks in its place because it is acting slower. Yeah, that did it. As soon as this thing realizes that it's very, very dark, it's going to start taking off. Like so. Okay, that's a problem. Uh, let's cut the farm off. And let's let this guy out. Okay, let's go ahead and get rid of the door. Actually, I could just, uh, I could do it like this. Because I want to try to keep the door. Go like that. Go back and kind of peek in there and keep track of it. Cut the fan back on. Let's go under. Let's turn it back on. Boom. So now I need one for arrows, one for bones, strings, that. So there's bones, there's string, there's arrows, there's spiders. It'd go a lot faster if I just cut the whole thing in darkness. Yeah, I guess I'll do that. I can use the tank to look in. All right, now start taking off. Let's make some ladders. Why did I pick up slime balls? So I need to make one for sugar, one for sticks. And very quickly, stuff like this can fill up. So I need some drawer upgrades. Some storage upgrades. So now each one of these has a upgrade slot. One, two, three, four, five, six. So each of these can hold six. Uh-oh. Okay, so that's the only thing I didn't want to happen. I did not want the teleporting slimes to get out, but they did, so it's whatever. Okay, so all these heads can go away. So the slime balls can go down there. Gunpowder can go down there. I actually need more drawers. So let's make some more drawers. So if I do this, then they'll just automatically start piling in, which is fine, I guess.
Okay, so things like glass bottles, I'm not going to be collecting all that often. The red jelly, probably, yeah. So we'll come over here, toss those and those and that in. So now I need some sky slime to hurry up and get out of that. Okay, so this is not really keeping up. Which is okay for the moment, which I'm not going to do anything. Uh, all those are locked in. All of these are locked in. Small piles of gunpowder. I can get rid of the creeper head. See how much of a pain it is to... Actually, yeah, I'll keep redstone, because witches just drop redstone, so. Okay, so now I need to start making the upgrades. Uh, each of these takes six upgrades max. How many emeralds do I have? Uh, hopefully enough. So I have 9, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 times six so I need 120 emeralds is nice let's see uh, 9 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 so I have 20 drawers times six so I need 120 upgrades let's just start making them I need a lot of these so let me get uh, some drawers I need a lot of chests. So that's not going to work. Is that a blaze? I mean, I hope so. No, don't look like it. Alright, anyway, I'm going to do this and I'm going to let it AFK for a long time. <laughs> 